Big bass and beer in the fridge. Okay guys, wanna show you a couple cool baits. This video is gonna be a little different. Uh, I've got quite a few things to make this weekend. So I'm just gonna kind of do a bait blog. Is, is that a thing, bait blog? So these are some baby bass rockets, seven inch rockets, and I have to make a few more of those. So my task is to actually match a color that I just made like literally yesterday. Um, and I still have the ingredients laid out here. Um, some, you know, um, green mica powder, some flakes here, some black, still have some of it left from yesterday. So a little bit messy shop. Um, this is what it really looks like when I'm running stuff. I try to clean it up for the videos. Um, but anyway, we're, uh, we're gonna pour a few of these real quick and, uh, and then we're gonna be moving on um, through several things over the course of the weekend. So uh, I think it's gonna be a pretty fun video. And of course, a weekend full of baits and hopefully some fishing on Sunday calls for a cold beer. Ready to get to work. All right, so we're got our white pearl mixed up here. We're gonna add a little bit of blue highlight because I love blue highlight. All right, and I found that the best highlights, I like the stuff from Lurecraft. Lureworks kind of keeps me uh, happy with uh, pigments and powders, but the highlights that I get from Lurecraft are just jam up. I don't know if there's a difference, but uh, I need to get more. I need to get more of my highlights. My son is out in the uh, driveway standing. Landon is growing up so fast. All right. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, he, uh, he's off camera, but my son is just standing in the driveway. Hey, buddy, are you having a good night? Say hello to everybody, buddy. Say hello. This is, uh, he is so close to walking, you guys. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, Landon. This, this, oh, this could be the moment. You getting it, it. getting it on camera, guys. He's not really walked yet. Come on, buddy. Come. That was cool. My son totally kind of almost just walked. Big, big time moment right there. Okay, here we go. Bait number one, yeah. Bait number two, you're gonna kinda blow through these. And last but not least, yeah. Love this mold. This mold, there's like a little back fin and I like to pour my bottom color just past it. And that makes it, that kinda makes the, uh, there's a dragonfly in here. And what that does, that makes the laminate go kind of right in between, right up the middle of the eye. So you'll see the, um, the green and the pearl is almost dead even with the center of the eye. And that's what I try and do. Okay, time to pour our black lines here. I like to kind of angle it to stop it from flowing too far. If that makes any sense. I don't want it to flow past the eyes and I don't want it to go all the way down the tail. Alright. And uh, if you watch my channel regularly, you've probably seen me do this exact kind of triple color pour before. But it's always good to see it again all right there we go all right should work there and last but not least and i'm using the heat gun to heat up the tail portion where the two colors are gonna bond, because that's usually where you have delamination problems uh, if your plastic is not hot enough. 
yeah, that one's gonna work great just by itself. All right. Okay, moving right along here. Fill this one in. I did not get a whole lot of flake in it, but it's still gonna look awesome, I think. All right, heat up the top, heat up the back. Yeah, we're ready to pour. Yeah. Okay, that one's done. And last but not least, I said we're gonna try to go through these fairly quickly. These uh, items in this video. We're just gonna kinda do a whole little bait blog of all the stuff I'm making this weekend. And uh, hopefully that will uh, be worth your while. So we're gonna attempt to get these out. They should be set up enough that we can get them out. Ooh, yeah, hot, 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 hot. Very hot. <clears throat> Butt looks good. All right, now we're gonna try this one. Just gotta get it, like to kind of spread the mold apart and get it started. Okay. Ooh, hot, 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 hot. All right. All right. Yeah, so here's what we have. Whoops. Yeah, there we go. Baby bass baits without the eyeballs. So we're gonna let those sit in the bath and time to make some more. All right, and we are finishing up the last three here. Three more. All right, we are getting these next three out. Well, the final three. So we will go ahead. Yeah, looking good. Nice, clean, laminating. Nice, uh, nice um, transition there with the colors. It's not peeling up or anything. Yeah, those are better than my uh, first pours tonight. Okay, we are making straight green pumpkin, nine inch rim and tails. So I'm going with my MF Dark Watermelon. That's the best watermelon pumpkin colorant I've ever found, bar none. It's not even close, it's not even up for discussion. I absolutely love that color and I have a ton of it. In case my friends at MF stop making it, which you guys better not, you better not. Be pissed over here. But anyway, this is some uh, dead on plastic worm blend. This is actually old clear dip um, from some swim baits. In fact, this exact plastic clear dipped the Spanish mackerel baits from my last video. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do there. We're gonna thicken it up slightly, add a little bit more. It's a very, uh, watered down color. It's not very thick um, And that's kind of why I like it no matter how much you put in it see-through But it has a green and brown look all at the same time. It's really 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 awesome So green pumpkin gets 0 0.035 medium black flake So we're gonna add some here This is quite a bit of plastic So we're gonna add quite a bit of flake Alrighty Yeah All right, and there is our green pumpkin. So now we're gonna go ahead <clears throat> and shoot our first round of worms. This is my nine inch ribbon tail. I call it the candy cane. So these are each four cavity molds. Okay, so we're gonna do eight worms real quick. I need more of these molds, I really do. I'm just out of space, guys. I hardly have room for just more stuff. My little garage is about at max capacity. All right. 
So uh, I need to do quite a bit of these, and there are the first ones. Got to do, got to do a drum roll, of course. Okay. Green pumpkin worms does not get any easier or more effective than this. More bass have been caught on something like this than any of that fancy stuff. There it is. That is the number one color in bass fishing. Period. Green pumpkin. Get your favorite watermelon or pumpkin color and add some black flake to it. The end. We did more difficult color artwork in the fifth grade. Believe me, guys. All right, here we go. Shot number two. All right. Eight more ribbon tails coming right up. I might have to call it quits for tonight after this one because it's 8.30 and we haven't eaten dinner. I know some of you uh, young bucks, 8.30 is like when your night begins. When you're old and give out like me and you have kids, 8.30 is like, oh my God, I need to get in bed. But it's a Friday night, so we're going to live dangerously. And who knows, we might be out here till like 10. I mean... That's a big deal. Okay, opening up more worms here. I got worms. That's what we're going to call it. Little 90s reference there to Dumb and Dumber. So I totally just aged myself. I was born in 87. So I was a 90s baby. You know, Third Eye Blind, Matchbox 20, you know, Faith Hill and Tim McGraw, Saved by the Bell. The original Independence Day. No cell phones. No internet, really. Yeah. A lot has changed. Okay, so we have these worms done here. And uh, this is exactly 40. I had to do five bags worth. So five bags of eight. And there are your 40 green pumpkin worms. Looking good, looking good. And uh, we'll let those sit for just a little bit. And then we will um, go ahead and put eyeballs on our swim baits. Okay, so we have our eyeballs um, <laughs> Tupperware here, all sorts of sizes and colors. But tonight we're doing our standard silver hologram 12 millimeters. I think they look good on just about everything. And, uh, and they look really good on this particular bait. So there's one. Okay, there's two. I like how quickly you can do this, this mold. The eyes fit perfectly every time. Um, there's really no way to put the eye on wrong. It just fits in so perfectly. Okay, done. So we're really gonna shoot through these. Speed, speed eyeballing right here. And, uh, and this eye doesn't have like a pupil that really looks a certain direction. So I'm not worried about lining it up. Let's say I was using that, you know, that looks forward. So I would need to line that up correctly. But these, it doesn't matter. These eyes look every direction. How about that? That's what we'll say. So yeah, pop them in. I posted this on Instagram the other night, and uh, I've gotten quite a few emails about selling them. So I figured I'd make a few more and uh, try to <clears throat> get these to everyone who wanted some. The original that I showed earlier that are still over there, um, those are already bought and paid for. But I had several other offers on them, so I figured I'd go ahead and make some more while I still had some plastic uh, kind of measured out for it. All right, last one here, yeah. 
These eyes are also from Stank X Baits, which is where this rocket mold is from. They have some really great eyes. You can see here I have all sorts of sizes of that um, eye right there. Here's some dead meat custom eyes, some more Stank's eyes, some smaller eyes there for certain things. Um, these are great eyes right here. Fish skull living eyes. They make these big 15 millimeters. Some other cool stuff here. Uh, some of the best eyes come from fly fishing uh, materials. Okay, here are the uh, baby bass rockets. Yeah. Trying to spread them all out where you can really see them there. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Great, great looking bait, and it's a easy colorway. So if you are into hand pouring, very, very easy. Green, black, white pearl. You know, you can jazz it up however you like, but it's fairly simple. And, uh, and it looks good. All right, everybody. We are headed to lunch. So it's now Saturday. What's today? It was today, September 28th. So uh, we're going to go grab a pizza real quick. Let me turn down the 90s R&B. And um, yeah, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to head back to the fish cave. We got to do a couple of um, Seminole Gold Boom Shads. That is my custom five inch uh, swim bait that uh, I designed years ago um, it's an injection mold so we'll do some of those and uh, and then we're gonna get a little crazy with it and we're just gonna have some fun make a bunch more things and um, have a good time doing it all right pizza time I just got a new phone my other phone broke um, so yep new phone and I only have like two pictures on it of you guessed it baits <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna enjoy this pizza and um, then we're gonna head up to Bass Pro for a minute. I forgot I have to stop there. Then we're gonna be back in the fish cave. All right, everybody. So now we're gonna make some Seminole Gold Boom Shads. So I have some swim bait plastic here and uh, we're gonna use our MF Dark Watermelon again. Got Mr. Thomas Lang playing drums on, my, on the phone. And uh, we're gonna do some medium black Okay, 0.035. And then obviously we're gonna do some gold flake because, hello, Seminole Gold. Okay, two full scoops of that. And then we are going to add, um, that's probably distracting. And then we're gonna add this purple. This is a little purple, 0 0.008. Okay, add some of that. And that is our color. This is an excellent bluegill slash shiner color. It's uh, it's it's just a very natural color. Um, I think it looks quite good. So let me get it started in here. Yeah, there we go. And uh, yeah, I have all this fringy stuff here. I had to put the stuff in the vacuum chamber. I overstirred it way too much. All right, there we go. That is Seminole Gold. A very, very beautiful color, and what, to me, what makes it special is the little purple. Without that, it would just be green pumpkin with some gold. But the little purple um, really, really, really looks cool. Okay, here we go. Seminole Gold Boom Shads. So these are top injection single single port or top port single injection so one port for each cavity and I really have to hold pressure on this mold it's not a very easy mold to shoot it's a custom mold um, and uh, the guy who made it nailed the design um, but top top injection um, to me is a little trickier so like the Bloodline Swim Bait Mold is also top injection. And um, you do have to hold pressure on that one as well. That mold's cut a lot better than this one. But um, I just think, I think there's maybe something about top injection that um, you definitely want to hold pressure to avoid denting. All right. There we go. We will meet you guys back when we have some baits. Alrighty, let's see what we have. 
Yeah. A little bit of bubbles in the nose. Yeah, that's the problem with this bait is the nose. I'll tell you though, what a great bait. I, I put a uh, notch in the middle there, so it has some mean side-to-side -side kick. A top hook slot, a bottom hook slot, a nice boot tail. It's a great little bait. Makes an amazing trailer for like a uh, jig or a chatterbait or something like that. But yeah, the problem with the mold is that it always uh, bubbles in the, uh, you know, I get a lot of air pockets in the nose. So we'll have to reshoot some of these for sure. But that's part of it. Yeah, there's a few from the uh, other mold there. Very pretty color. Hope you guys can see the little purple in it. Okay, so here are the Seminole Gold Boom Shads. Quite a few of them. Looking good, looking good. Such a cool bait again. Really, really great bait. Looks great on a uh, Alabama rig. Looks great on a chatter bait. Or just rig it on a five or six aught weighted swim bait hook. The hook lays nice and uh, flat in that upper hook slot. And um, just a great, great, great bait. Okay, everybody, can you guess what we're doing real quick before I tell you? Yeah? Rainbow Trout Core Shots. So, we have watermelon, regular watermelon, mixed with some black flake and some small gold flake, and then a little bit of white pearl. This is not thick stuff. Um, I don't mix it very thick because it you got to remember, a course shot, the shell needs to be see-through. So here we go. We're going to make a few shells here. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Some laminates. So basically, you do a laminate shell, and then you shoot a pink core. And uh, that's the idea. So we're going to do a few rounds of these. Not sure what happened there, but we're gonna do a few rounds of those and uh, have us some nice, pretty core shots. All right, let's see what we have. Yeah. So right off the bat, you can see how see-through it is. And that's what we want. So look at that, perfect. Perfect laminate. You have your watermelon gold side and then your um, pearl side, but it's see-through enough that the pink core is really really gonna show up well And uh, I've been asked many times to make these on camera I just I haven't done a whole video on it because I feel like I've done a lot of rainbow trout stuff But I wanted to feature it in today's video. So we're gonna Set these shells aside and then we'll meet you back when we are ready to shoot some cores Okay, everybody, so we have some of our shells. So we, we have the shells right here, and we have inserted a few more back into the mold, of course. Here's our pink core color, and uh, that's just remelt right there. Oop, little air. All right. Now we're going to shoot the cores. You want to shoot the core real hot, of course, hold lots of pressure, because you want to make sure that the plastic goes all the way through the shell. All right, looks good, and uh, voila. And just like that, there is the rainbow trout core shot. You can see it from the side there. Watermelon on the left, pearl on the right, and the uh, gorgeous pink line down the middle. Okay, so the bottom of the light hitch uh, surprise, surprise, is a white pearl base, but we're not going to use very much. So we're going to do that with some blue highlight. So much like the baby bass, this is just the way I like to do it. So I like to also use blue highlight in the top color. Um, and the top color is not a whole lot more difficult. Um, I like to use a watermelon base, so I'm going to go with my favorite watermelon, MF Dark Watermelon. I'm going to add that. And then I'm gonna add blue highlight to that. Okay. And uh, this isn't actually really so much light hitch as it is just a, a good hitch pattern. Light hitch is just that. It's a little bit lighter color uh, as far as the watermelon side. That's just my experience with looking at light hitches. Um, 
So anyway, here we go. That is my version of it right there. So that will be our top. Pearl will obviously, oh, I got plastic stuck in my finger. Pearl side will be the bottom, of course. And then you basically do a blue center vein. So uh, instead of a black line like this one, you do a blue line. Okay, so again, a, a very, very simple color idea, but it makes like one of the most unique, uh, well, not unique necessarily, but it makes one of the most versatile just bait fish colors. It looks like a shad. It looks like any any bait fish that, pre that predators are going to prey on. This kind of, to me, encompasses it, whether you're trying to make it look like a gizzard shad or a pilchard in salt water or wh whatever you're trying to make. To me, this is just a great bait fish color. Doesn't matter what the bait fish is. So we're just gonna go ahead and get the pours started on these. We'll move this one over here. Yeah. Really, really simple. You know, none of, none of these colors are like super, super hard to make. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, when you get a couple simple colors together, Kind of like this they can make something spectacular that's nothing special i didn't mix you know five drops of this and eight drops of this and half a drop and half a scoop no that's just straight lure works watermelon that's just straight pink um hot pink straight white pearl okay and so for the blue line i'm just going to use some lure works thalo blue just going to add a little bit okay that was about six or seven drops i think all right, so we're gonna use that. And then, something I like to do a lot to blue is add a little bit of white pearl to it, a little bit of white mica. And it will brighten it just a little bit, but you'll get that pearl look to it. Um, and this looks different than what I can get with just straight blue pearl. You know, so you might ask, well, why not use just straight blue pearl? Well, because you can't get that look with straight blue pearl, at least I can't. You know, now, you could probably mix this with the blue mica powder, but it's just not the same. Um, I like the way it looks mixed with actual liquid pigment. And last but not least, we'll fill in our top color. Okay. Nice and hot. Wanna get a nice strong bond. Okay. All right. Here we go. Get that tail filled in. Yeah. All right. Voila, there we go. So there's our uh, darker light hitch. <laughs> and uh, I kind of had a dead meat custom eye, this blue eye that has the exact colors of the blue line and sort of the white bottom. So I matched up that eye with the bait and uh, I think they look great um, with those eyes on there. All right, well, that was a uh, bang per buck action packed um, uh, video right there. We had a lot of stuff going on and uh, I had a lot of stuff to make this weekend and I'm not done yet So I'll probably get another video out of this weekend um, But yeah, I think those are really awesome uh, items. Let's lay them out real quick and get one last look Okay, there we go. So we have our um, uh, <clears throat> Obviously the green pumpkin ribbon tails We have our Seminole gold boom shads some more green pumpkin ribbon tails we have a bunch of the baby bass here. Uh, we have our rainbow trout core shots and then our hitch color. So I think that is an awesome spread of baits. What do you guys think? All right, comments down below. Let me know which ones were your favorite. Please like and subscribe, tell your friends, and we will see you next time.